I joined UKIP, well, my card here says in 1992, because that was when it was the Anti-Federalist League. So for over a quarter of a century, uh, I've been involved in UKIP and its forerunner. I have worked tirelessly uh, for UKIP. I've spoken at one and a half thousand public meetings up and down the country during those years. I've travelled hundreds of thousands of miles and the aim was very simple. It was to take votes away from the establishment parties to force a vote in this country that would get us back our independence. And you could argue uh, that in 2016 we had been pretty successful. One of the keys to that was talking about things that everybody else wanted to brush on the, under the carpet. Issues like immigration, uh, which we were told, oh, if you discuss that, it's somehow disreputable. I made sure that UKIP talked about tough issues, but we absolutely excluded anybody who'd ever been a member of the British National Party, the English Defence League. We wanted to make sure that when the abuse was thrown at us, it couldn't possibly be proved to be true. Now, I'm afraid uh, that over the course of the last few months, under this leader, Mr. Gerard Batten, a lot has changed. And he uh, seems to be pretty obsessed with the issue of Islam. Not just Islamic extremism, but Islam. And UKIP wasn't founded uh, to be a party based on fighting a religious crusade. And also obsessed with this figure called Tommy Robinson, whose real name is Stephen Yaxley Lennon. Uh, who is seen by some to be a great hero standing up and, and fighting for working class people, but who has a pretty suspect record and who brings with him uh, a group of people, uh, I'm afraid, uh, amongst which we see uh, scuffles, violence, many have criminal records, some pretty serious. And all of it's been dragging UKIP away from being an electoral party into a party of street activism. I have warned, and I wrote 10 days ago, that this direction was catastrophic, particularly at a time when the great Brexit betrayal is upon us. Both the Labour and Conservative parties have broken promises that were made, not just in the referendum, but in the general election as well. Things couldn't be better for UKIP, but unfortunately, we've gone in this direction of street activism and turning a blind eye to extremist politics. Uh, many of the best people that I've worked with over those many long years have already left the party in the space of the last few weeks. There was one last hope that the party's national executive at the weekend would do something about this, would, uh, you know, pass a motion of no confidence in Gerard Batten ahead of what's due this Sunday. And this Sunday, there's going to be a march in London with Gerard Batten and Tommy Robinson as the speakers that two days before the most important parliamentary vote of modern times. And the image... That will give of what Brexit stands for is something that our enemies will use against us for perhaps many years to come. Damaging UKIP is one thing. Damaging the Brexit cause is even worse. And I, with a very heavy heart, uh, given how much I've cared for this party, the people within it, um, have reached, I think, a very sad decision, certainly very sad for me, uh, that I simply can't go on with it. I don't recognise the party as being the one that I helped to found and fought for for all of those years. I believe the brand has been now so damaged, so tarnished, uh, that it's not able to pick up and won't be able to pick up the political opportunity that's there, staring it in the face. And so with very great reluctance, I have, as of now, resigned my membership of UKIP, council by standing order at the bank. I'm no longer a member of UKIP, which... Hey, it's uh, made up the biggest part of my adult life. It's a very sad thing to do. But there it is. It's done.